So here we go once again. I'm over at the auto shop and we are doing some contract missions because they are dishing out double cash and double RP. And for this particular video, we are going to be going over every single little thing that you're going to need to do for the lost contract itself. So once again, we got the two setups and then we have the actual mini heist itself. So let's just go ahead and get this first one done, which is going to take you to a location where you just need to kill a bunch of people, blow them up, lost MC clubhouse gang members now they are a gang no for sure the lost is definitely 100% this is a gang and we're uh we're on gang neighborhood watch right now we gotta take take out these people just hide behind a box or something like that so we're gonna go into an actual MC clubhouse at this time it's gonna be gobs of people if you already have your assault shotgun busted out that's a, a golden star for you because the assault shotgun it's like the best. Here we go. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> I blew everything up, even me. If I'm gonna die, everybody's going with me. Still that guy right there. All right, so there's like a couple things we need to do here, right? First, we gotta do the vault. So go to the vault, find the vault. Let's do that. Grab that, get that, there you go. All right, now we're gonna move on upstairs. There's still gonna be some bad guys here, so be mindful. I like to go up here with the assault shotgun because it's literally like one of the best guns in the game. All right, now from here, we're just gonna be looking for the red duffel bag. There it is. Now from there, we're done. We just have to leave, I believe, and uh, head on back to the auto shop at this time, which I'll be using my Mark II oppressor to make it super fast, super easy. All right, there it is. Mark II oppressor, let's go. Bam, oh, kinda messed up there. All right, now we got one more setup and then we're actually gonna be getting into the finale. And what is the best method for getting through this? Completely solo, mind you. We're not doing this with anybody helping me. I can't rely on random people in the game to get things done like I can get things done. I can just get things done by myself, so I'm just going to get them done by myself because, you know, if anybody's going to fail, it's going to be me. So if I'm going to be mad at anybody, you're going to be mad at myself and not some random player like yelling at them, you know, going in the game chat. So from here, ladies and gentlemen, we are going on over to this dock area where my Mark II oppressor missiles are going to work. So we need to find this dude right here. We got to take a picture of this thing. It's like a schedule or something. Yeah, there you go. That's going to let us know where the truck is. We need to get a trailer. So that's what we're actually after at this point. And we will need a truck for it. So I thought that uh, I was just going to go over here and grab this. And I was like, yeah, I'll just grab this. Let's, let's see where exactly I have to go. Uh, n no. <laughs> let's get let's get back on the Mark II Oppressor. Uh, yeah, I'm not driving the truck that far. Let's just go get this truck real quick. There it is. It just stopped right for me. Hey, buddy, I need this. Thank you. It'll be okay. Don't worry. Uh, he's got a taxi coming. I, I called the taxi. So from there, we're just taking this big old truck full of gasoline to this location here. And then look what happens. Oh. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> still backing up, <laughs> whoa, yeah, things like that are always happening here in GTA, so back to the old planning board, here we go, all right, time for the finale, once again, we want to go for some armor, and we're going for the Hustler loadout, you will never hear me say anything else, but the Hustler loadout, it's got the bullet rifle, the bullet rifle is like one of the best guns that you get in here, now, at this point, we're going to be taking this car to my garage because inside of this garage, that's right, is an armored Karuma, a vehicle that's going to almost put me in semi-god mode because they're going to have a hell of a time trying to shoot me in here, right? But me, I got my AP pistol, blah, headshot, blah, <laughs> headshot. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Could have clipped in some training day right here. All right, guys, first things first, we got to get to this location here, which is going to be in the, you know, you can do whatever you want. There's just a lot of places to go to. I'm just showing you how I'm doing this. 
Yeah, this is gonna be I think this is the meth lab. Yeah, a cut and copy of Breaking Bad. We just gotta set bombs. We're blowing them up. Oh, right here, watch out. Don't worry though. Why? Because you're in an armored Kuruma, right? It's almost a cheat vehicle. Look at that headshot. No, you too, dude. You need to. But I'll back up into you if I have to. Headshots. Dude, I'm so safe in here. Like, these guys got nothing on me. Like, think about how unfair this is. Imagine if, like, an NPC rolled upon you or something in this and, like, you just couldn't shoot them. Right? <laughs> right? That's what's happening to them, but it's me. All right, say goodnight. Anybody else want some? You too? Headshots? Oh, oh, getting hit. Where? Okay, we're going in. Going in. Looks like another meth lab. Okay, let's set some bombs. Yeah, because the MC lost or whatever like that, they freaking, they're like meth freaks or something, right? That's why in story mode, Trevor had to like murder them. I knew you are hiding back here. You can't hide from me. Just a box of dude. More people? Seriously? I'm not even in my armor Kuruma. What am I gonna do besides get headshots? I just get heads some headshots there. Dude, I'm telling you guys, shoot the enemies in the head. They die instantly. It takes one bullet. Oh uh, yep. <laughs> hey man, get off my fing car, dude. Dude, what are you doing? That was some of the funniest ever. <laughs> what was that guy thinking? <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, just keep shooting away. All right, now at some point, we got to get out of the car. We're going in again. Yeah, we have to go to like a lot of locations here. The last one, the contract here, it's a little bit lengthy and it's definitely very dangerous because we have to get out of the car a bunch of times. We got to plant bombs. We got to shoot a lot of people. We got to make sure that our health and snacks is at full uh, value here. Oh, and by the way, you guys can get free snacks at your auto shop, by the way. If you didn't know, that's a little snack bowl down there. Anybody else want some of this? Let me get in my car, bro. We got like 19 more locations to get to, it seems like. There's a lot of locations all over the map. They want you to go on this one. So, I mean, particularly, would this be, like, better if you ran it with people and everybody went to different locations and it could get done a lot quicker that way? Yeah, you could do that, but I'm not showing you how to do that because I can't rely on uh, random people without them dying or even knowing that they can even go get Karumas, you know, or something like that. Which, by far, doing missions in the game, the armored Karuma is king because it keeps you protected, especially when you only, like, have one life to lose and then you end up failing that's no fun whatsoever because I don't think there's any checkpoints here if I did fail I'm not sure about that that's why we're not gonna fail so once again watch out for the dudes that are in here there's like bad guys in here sometimes like shotguns or something just watch out for them all right we're on our way how many more locations we still got a, a, more locations I think yeah we're just setting bombs right now we're gonna ruin their business Woo! All right, now we gotta get to this thing. All right, cool. Now we got our truck. All right, we got our truck. All right, let's go. Job for these dudes. Uh, really good tip here, you guys. Yeah, bust open your snack menu. All right, I got out of the truck. These guys are trying to cheat by shooting me. That's why I try to just clear it out. Yeah, snack menu. Keep that open if you need to, okay? Damn, got you too. Yeah, you see how good the bullet rifle is? It's really good. It's actually pretty powerful. Dude, I hate when they hide behind corners and stuff. They shoot you real quick and then they like duck behind a corner. They're like, you'll never find me. Like, I know he's over there somewhere. Any means necessary, ladies and gentlemen, to destroy these enemies in the game. All right, I think we're good to go. I didn't want to, like, try to get it without, you know, because I get shot, bro. That's what was happening to me. I was taking a bunch of damage. All right, now here's the fun part right here. We got to connect this thing. Oh, God, that's probably not good with that on fire right there. I could have blown it up. 
We gotta connect this, and we gotta take it to like I think it's chefs, right? Well, it'd be like Dax's now. And there will be enemies shooting at you the whole time. Try to shoot them or do whatever you can, and don't blow up the truck. No, we're going past. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way, huh? Oh, way out here. Way out here. Oh no, yeah, this one is for Chef. Chef is picking it up, and he's not picking it up at his place. Which is kind of cool too, right? Because what is this? What is this? This is methylamine. This is methylamine, just like from Breaking Bad. Yo, that's a lot of stuff to go through. And the only reason I did this is because it was one of the things on the board that I haven't done yet. And it is dishing out double cash and double RP, which is going to be paying me $324,000 is what I'm going to end up getting for this one right here. But honestly, if you ask me what my honest opinion about this one is, is steer clear of it if you can, because this one takes a bit more time unless you plan on doing this one with, of course, you know, multiple people that potentially know what they're doing, at least staying alive wise. So you can see right there. Uh, definitely worth potentially doing this but once again there's a lot better ones like the Union Depository if you can get the Union Depository any and every time you want to be doing that one so I just wanted to show you guys everything that you need to do for the uh, well for this contract here so if you enjoyed the video hit like subscribe for new content go check out more videos and thanks for watching my name is Gravesite see you in the next one so peace